Hello friends. There are a lot of tutorials and videos out there about how to make games. How to make a 2D platformer, how to use different game engines, etc. But there aren't many explaining the entire process of designing, building, and publishing an entire game from start to finish. So that's what we're going to do. First we need to know how to make a game. Video games are art. Therefore you and I as game developers are artists. We can learn to make games the same way artists learn to make art. Start by learning the basic technical skills, like an artist learns how to draw or how to paint. Download any game engine and learn how to build scenes, write scripts, handle collisions, etc. If you're watching this video, you've probably already done this by following some online tutorials. If you haven't, you can find plenty of really good ones on my Patreon. They're also available on Udemy and Skillshare, and I have some free tips and tricks videos on YouTube. Copy masterworks of famous artists. Like an artist learns about Vincent van Gogh by recreating the Starry Night. Create clones of simple yet masterfully designed games, like Tetris, Snake, Flappy Bird, or Pac-Man. These will help you understand more complex game mechanics and designs. You can typically follow tutorials for this step too. Produce an original piece in the style of a famous artist. Before artists try to make something completely original, most art schools will have the artist attempt to create a new piece of art while simulating the style of their favorite artist. Use the skills you've learned by adapting a clone of an existing game, giving it a unique twist or adding something of your own design. At this point you should be comfortable enough to design and build individual game mechanics without needing to follow a tutorial. Create your own work of art. Like an artist must eventually be able to create something completely of their own imagination in their own unique style. Start trying to design and build an entire game from scratch, but just like real art, don't expect it to be very good. While most art forms are only a single discipline, game development requires multiple disciplines so you may still follow tutorials to fill gaps in your knowledge, but you'll need to be able to put it all together yourself. Practice, practice, practice. An artist's first work of art is never their best, and they improve over time as they continue to practice and get better at it. Make lots of games, participate in game jams, make mistakes, and learn from them. This step can take a lot of time, so be patient. A lot of what you make won't be very good, but it all serves the purpose of improving your skills. Create a masterpiece. Like an artist earning a master's degree would produce a masterwork or capstone project to prove their expertise. You're finally ready to make a real game, whether that is a published game to sell for profit or a passion project you only want to make for your own satisfaction. Whatever you choose to make, it should prove to the world that you are a master of your craft. Step 5 or 6 is ideally where you should be in your game development journey to benefit most from this series. Throughout these videos, we'll go through the entire process of publishing a game from conceptualization to release. Starting with coming up with an idea for your game, building a prototype, planning and executing the production, playtesting, and finally publishing the game. This is not likely to be a linear process though, more of an iterative one. You may reach the prototype stage and find out that your idea wasn't very fun and start over. Or you may start playtesting your game and respond to feedback by returning to the prototyping stage to rework the core mechanic of your game. But if we keep at it, we'll eventually make it to the end and publish our game. In the next video, we'll decide what kind of game we should make. I'll see you in the next video.